I'm a genius. What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Berm and today we are hitting the VGC regulation F ranked ladder with this. Surf, rain, walking wake team. Before we begin, if you wouldn't mind liking, commenting, subscribing, helping this video reach more people, helping the channel grow, I sure would appreciate that. Tuesday night, 7 p.m. is typically when I stream. I cannot stream this upcoming Tuesday, so I apologize for that. But back in March, in March, we will be back with streams. Come by 7 p.m. sharp Eastern Standard Time. I battle against the chat. It's a lot of fun. Let's talk about this team very quickly. I wanted to make a booster energy walking wake team because while walking wake is amazing as a sun sweeper, it also sort of is pigeonholed into a certain play style. And obviously being a water type, it is very good at getting moves boosted with rain. Now, obviously Hydro Steam, its signature move is boosted in the sun, despite being a water type move, uh, but also just generally things like Surf can hit for a lot of damage when they're boosted by the rain. And also if we rock a booster energy on Walking Wake, we don't really miss out on the sun all that much uh, because we will be boosting our special attack here with booster energy getting off as many hard hitting surfs and hurricanes and whatnot here in the rain as possible. That's another thing. Walking Wake, it's hurricane and you never run that on a sun sweeper. Lots of other stuff on this team is, you know, helped by rain and also helps Walking Wake get surfs off, be it, you know, wide guard on the Pelipper, water absorb on the Ogre Pond. There is a couple of other things here that uh, do some fun things. Really Walking Wake is the focus though. I wanted to sort of run something that uh, I'm calling it conservative walking wake. And, and what I mean by that is back in my day, we had surf and that was good enough for us. None of these fancy new <laughs> hydro steam, whatever the hell. No, this is uh, walking wake the way the Lord intended. And I hope that we're able to pull some, I have no idea what I'm saying. Thanks so much for clicking on this video in the first place. Rental code Pokepay's full team breakdown always in the description. And without any further ado, let's hop into some battles here, shall we? All right, that team's just looking pretty solid. Actually, is that like a regulation? That's regulation E, right? It might even be regulation D. Yeah. Yeah, that's an oldie. It's chill though, it's cool, we're good. Um, I kind of just want to lead with uh, rain and rain and pain. Uh, we threatened the Amoongus pretty bad with, with the dual hurricane lead. I'm a little nervous about the Grimmsnarl and the screens and the T-waves and stuff that can come out there. I'm less nervous about the... I'm a little nervous about the Iron Hands. I don't think they'll lead it though. A little nervous about the um, the Fluttermane, of course, too. Uh, let's bring Tap and Z as well. And then I think probably Ogre Pine. We're going to bring all three water types here. Which is not, uh, not rare for this team, actually. Sometimes you run into a, a team that you realize, um, oh, these Pokemon that are the same type still need to be on the team. It's like when you, like there's tons of it that happens with grass types, right? Where, uh, you know, you see so many Ogre Ponds with Rillabooms uh, or Rillabooms with Amoonguses. Cause like Amoongus is a grass type, but it doesn't run any grass type moves. So there's still stuff you might want from a grass type. That's kind of what we see here. They're just gonna leave with these two. This attack was heightened. All right, um, I can Tailwind or I can Icy Wind here. I kind of want to Icy Wind because both of these Pokemon want to run Sash. I could protect here. Obviously, they have the... Obviously, they have the Urshifu that can go through my protect. 
but if they were to double into Walking Wake, they might be able to kill Walking Wake. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm just going to actually protect. I know that a close combat goes through. They're not going to Surging Strikes, you know. It's not... They can maybe Poison Jaw? What are you doing? They're going Terra Water. They want it. They're physically defensive on the Pelipper. Though that might not come into play if... Uh, if the Sword of Ruin is really... Really all that. They're going for Pelipper? No, they're not going to do it. And Citrus, I, I'm hoping, will bring me back up high enough that Chen Pao also cannot uh, uh, kill Pelipper here. Lots of HP back. And they attempt the Icicle Crash. Okay, so my Protect was not absolutely insane there. Let me get the Icy Wind. Popping the sashes. Good stuff. Okay. Um, I'm feeling like a tailwind. We have the ogre pond in the back, so like part of me's like. I'm feeling like a tailwind with a hurricane into the Chen Pao. I also just drop a Draco on their ass. If the Fluttermane or something's in the back, that stinks, but it would definitely kill. Yeah, let's drop the Draco. Protect. That's okay with me, actually. That is actually okay with me. They are going to Surging Strikes, this time again for Pelipper. Okay, they're actually going to get the Pelipper here. But I don't mind Pelipper going down to get in uh, Ogre Pond here. Do I wish I had Tailwind instead of the Icy Wind? Well, maybe for the long term, but... But right now it just feels so important that, uh, that they don't have their Sashes intact. So... I can now pretty safely Horn Leech into you and just Surf. I mean, I don't even need to Horn Leech into you. Really, I just need to Horn Leech into this spot if the Surf doesn't pick up the KO. Right? And we just saw them protect with the Chen Pao, so they're not going to be able to do it again. That guy is going to go. Who are you giving me? They brought the Amoongus, cool, so I can clip that thing with Hurricane. They're going to reset their speed stats, which is smart. But we're going to deal lots of damage to this uh, Iron Hands, which I'm not mad about. Cool. Uh, now we just cudgel you as I just protect with Walking Wake. If they want to, like fake out here. They're probably going to fake out Walking Wake and Spore it. I guess I could have followed me there too. I want damage though. I want to try and use my rain turns to the best best of my ability. And I just think that this, this Ogre Pun is such a clutch answer to everything they have in the back. They're going to Rage Powder. That's not going to affect Ogre Pond. We're just going to drop the... Yeah, we're just going to drop the uh, Iron Hands there. I'm feeling like a Follow Me is a really nice answer right here. Whatever they... Uh, whatever is about to come out. They decide to give me the Chen Pao now. Um, I could Terra Water and follow me. That makes me no longer Water Absorb. And 
and you're Terra Fairy. I think I'd do it. Um, no, I think I'm actually just going to spiky shield for one turn while I hurricane the Among Us. Uh, they did attempt the Icicle Crash into Ogre Pond without me having to follow me. In my mind, I'm like, if I can keep full health on Ogre Pond, I'd much rather have full health with Ogre Pond next turn and, like, my walking wake in the yellow than have Ogre Pond take damage this turn when they might target it anyway. So, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with that decision. All right, we know that they're not clicking Surging Strikes, right? And we think that they're probably locked in, is my guess. So I think I'm just going to Horn Leech that spot and Draco Meteor here. Uh, I could Surf too to help Ogre Pond out. Once it gets hit by something. I don't hate that idea. Mm. No, I think we have to we have to delete something here. They're gonna CC into walking wake, in fact, but they're not going to drop it. Well done, Wake. Are they doubling into Wake? They are. Okay. I think I'm chill with that though. Uh, because since they dropped their defense, Hornleech picks up the KO. Come on, man. And now our Chalodon in the back is pretty, uh, pretty unfazable. Quite honestly, I think I just double target. I'm going to Terra Water. And we're going to flash cannon. They're staying in it, man. They said, I see a way out of this. Personally, I do not. For them. But let's see what they're cooking. They just Sacred Sword our Chalodon, which doesn't drop to that. No. Rocky Helmet's a nice little tech there, too. Even if they had Sash intact that entire time. Nice. Nice. No regrets there, honestly, that entire game. I had regret... Uh, I had, like, question marks throughout, but I'm pretty proud of the fact that I stuck to my guns there a little bit. And uh, we picked up the win on a uh, what, what appeared to be a pretty competitive team. Not bad. And with three water types, what do you know? Can't be mad about that. Good game to my opponent. Going up against what looks like a mono pink team, or at least they tried it. Because they got the Ndidi at the bottom. Womp womp. Uh, it I was like, oh, this is mono fairy. It's not mono fairy. It's just a bunch of pink Pokemon. A couple fairies in there, but... Weird team. I knew it was coming. Um, you may have wondered why I paused. I knew why I paused. Let's see. Uh, we're just going to rock, rock immediately with these guys, I think. You know, if the Lorantis is here, we'll just we'll, we'll hyper void, or, uh, hurricane it. Uh, bring my steel type for all these fairies. I actually haven't used um, Archalodon yet here on the channel. So that's fun. Um, and I think I'm going to bring Oranguru as well. I don't normally bring Pelipper and Oranguru. Oh, that's not true. That's not true. 
not true at all. You still want to set the rain with Pelipper. Pelipper kind of comes every single game. Um, usually, though, I will lead with Oranguru in Walking Wake if I'm going to bring it. Because I'm reading hard Trick Room. Now, I'm not reading a hard Trick Room over there for my opponent. But I would like a way to unset Trick Room if they get it up with their leads. That may be what they're doing. They're going to boost their Spadef. All right, so I'm not anticipating this to, to go totally crazy here. Um, but we are going to get a special attack boost here with the Walking Wake. We are as fast as we can possibly be while still boosting special attack, by the way. Uh, and we are going to pop the Surf here. Again, I don't think it's going to kill either Pokemon. It's going to do a lot, though. And we can go right into Oranguru. I have no reason for Pelipper to be here. I'm not trying to, like, set a Tailwind or anything like that. My guess is we're going to see Trick Room here. Uh, maybe screens. Amnesia. Okay. You get light screen. Yeah, that's doing really nothing here. They go for the trick room. Interesting. Uh, I'm going to surf and I'm going to unset trick room here. Amnesia. Very interesting. I didn't bring any physical attackers. Yeah, I didn't bring my Ogre Pump. Lots of damage. Another Amnesia. Unset the Trick Room there. Uh, and now I'm just going to Surf and Instruct the Surf so we get two off this turn. I assume they have a way of recovering. Does Screamtail get Recover itself? They're going to go for Wish. That's a way to recover, for sure. One crit on the Screamtail and it's gone. They just D gleam actually. I'm also kind of wondering like Psy Shock is resisted by Screamtail, but it does get boosted by the Psychic Terrain. So maybe, you know, I'm, I'm so perplexed by Walking Wake's design and how cool its tails are and its mane and stuff. You forget that it also is wearing bell bottoms. We're going to Terra here, Terra Steel. Um, and we are going to now, we're going to Surf, um, but I'm going to try and, I'm going to try and Psy Shock the Screamtail. I'm a little nervous about if they are able to survive one more turn here. and get this wish recovery. I'm like, what do I even do to that? I mean, again, a crit really helps me a lot. They just go for another amnesia. So they did not protect. I'm hoping we're able to get this kill then. It's going to be close. One more protect means they're really going to eat this surf. Come on, Psy Shock. What do you think? I'm a genius. I'm a genius for bringing that in this freaking Pokemon. Unreal. And then they clicked. What, what move was that even? Super. What was that move that they just clicked into Oranguru? Uh, now we can Hurricane into the Lorantis. We can instruct the Hurricane, too. I doubt that Oranguru survives all this, but... Hurricane goes first. Ooh, it's not going to kill the Lorantis. Oranguru goes next. 
They are definitely all trick room trained, huh? Cool. I mean, this is a really weird team to go up against, but it's uh, it's showcasing the, my team pretty well. Finally, walking weight goes down. Amnesia. Screamtail. They saw all the special attackers on my team, and they were like, ooh, I'll take that. So we can go Pelipper here. I'm just going to start dealing some damage. Uh, there's no reason why we would not speed with our Chaladon in the back, but let's just start hitting it. Nice crit there, Pelipper. Look at these two. These two support mons. They just go for Calm Mind. Once again, Psy Shock is going to come in clutch here, I think. Nope, Hurricane's just going to do it. Really good game to my opponent. Again, they were obviously using sort of some some kind of themed team happening over there. But uh, I'll include this battle in the video just for the fact that we got... I mean, this is full of transparency. The first battle I'm recording. Maybe it's further along the video. Um, but I don't know that we're going to get another battle necessarily where we get to see the Oranguru instruct stuff happening. And it happened multiple times there. So, I, I uh, yeah, pretty happy about that. Good game to my opponent. Cam. Cam has a Trick Room team for sure. I'm going to go Oranguru here. Because uh, we can imprison it turn one. Now, they also have the Nine Tails, which, yeah, is a little bit annoying. I'm feeling like maybe I don't lead Wake here. It might be that I lead with... It's tough, because I want a physical attacker, actually, I'm realizing. As much as I'd love to bring her Chalodon. Like, Oranguru is pretty good here. Problem with that is then I, I probably shouldn't bring Walking Wake. And I uh, I do just want to bring that Pokemon is the thing. Uh, let's go Walking Wake. We're going to bring the Pelipper. And I think despite my, um, my better judgment. Actually, Landorus isn't bad if I can get rid of the Ninetales. The Ninetales is the biggest issue. But Landorus actually might be a better Pokemon. Like, I'm, I'm a little nervous about the Snorlax. They can be pretty specially bulky. Uh, and that's kind of why I would love to bring my physical attacker. It's the only one on the team. But... I like Lando. The, the thing that I keep running into, of course, once I make this team, I run into a bunch of Pokemon that uh, could run freeze dry. I brought this team on the stream the other night and um, ran into like a freeze dry iron bundle. Like there's just whenever I bring this team, you're going to suddenly realize that everybody's running freeze dry, which like there's things that resist ice on this team or at least take it for neutral damage. But freeze dry is pretty tough. Uh, let's or, uh, sorry. Let's imprison the trick room, and uh, I'm not gonna tower right away. Do I drop a cold hurricane, or do I just click surf? Seventy accuracy. Hmm. Let's try it. Come on. We nail it. Come on. Oh, and it's a one-shot. Ridiculous damage right there from Wake. It's actually just a Moonblast coming out into the wall. Walking Wake is, like, fine with that. Took that pretty well. And no Trick Room for you.
there's the Snorlax I was a little nervous about. Okay. Okay, yeah. Uh, a little spooky. Let's swap out Oranguru. I realized that by doing this, uh, they can't click Trick Room on this one turn, but they would be able to click Trick Room after this turn. Do I care about that? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. They can Now that my Imprisoner is not on the field anymore, like they can't click Trick Room at all. It stops you from being able to click it because it's in Strux, so we, or because it's in Prison. So we know for a fact that they're not Trick Rooming on this turn. This is Terra Fairy. That's fine. I'm glad I didn't Draco. That's fine. We're going to get the boost on Surf here. It's not going to kill anything. Lots of damage, though. I'll take that damage. Tell you what. We know that Moonblast doesn't kill Wake here. Spatak drops a little bit annoying. And they do Belly Drum. Probably a berry. Nope. Okay. Well, now... I just hurricane this spot and I surf. The thought process here is that if they protect with the Snorlax, which I don't know if they will have both, but that way I'm, I'm still focusing on the Cresselia and hopefully stopping it from being able to trick room this turn if they if they want to. Uh, I'm hitting my own Pelipper here with multiple surfs. I'm fine with it. They did not protect on the Snorlax, so I actually don't totally care if they do set trick room now. We're going to pop our own Citrus Berry there with Pelipper. It's impo- uh, I don't think- I think it's incredibly hard to- to hit KO your own Pelipper. Um, but it's impossible to because of the Citrus Berry. Like, you could get a high roll on the first one. If you got a high roll on both, it would be enough to knock your Pelipper's HP to zero. But if you get a high roll on the first one, then it'll knock you to Citrus. Um... You get it. Let's go Lando here now. There's Slow King. All right. Uh, I'm going to go into Oranguru now in case they try to set Trick Room right here. And we are just going to Sludge Wave. Incoming commenter telling me that Sludge Wave is my favorite move. Maybe it is. I love Sludge Wave. It's fun to make synergistic teams with. Oranguru appears. Sludge Wave does not hit it. And that's just damage, baby. We got a crit on the Cresselia. I don't think that matters. From this range, I do not think that matters. And we try, they try to heal pulse, but to no avail. Okay, now we simply instruct a Sandseer Storm at 100% accuracy. I wanted to see it happen. That's okay. That's okay. They didn't want to see the animations. We're fine. Uh, yeah, I think the team worked really well there. I was nervous about the Snorlax, but it didn't end up being too much of an issue, mostly because of how much damage Walking Wake was still able to do to it, right? Tons of damage output once I got the rain set. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, good game to my opponent. Hey, thanks so much for checking out this video. If you want to use this uh, conservative, back in my day, we had surf, that's all we needed. Walking Wake team for yourself. <laughs> Be my guest, rental code. Pokebase full team breakdown in the description. I had a lot of fun using uh, walking wake in the rain today with no sun to be seen. Uh, I thought it was really fun synergy with the water absorb and with telepathy and with the drizzle. That was kind of the idea and I'm glad we got to see sort of, um, did we see all of that stuff happen? I maybe never surfed with the water absorb, but but uh, they, they did work together. That's for sure. And every single Pokemon saw the field, even though Archaladon didn't get to use a move.
First time using it on the channel, but uh, didn't uh, didn't didn't click any buttons with it. I clicked a button. It just didn't. It just didn't happen. Yeah. Thanks for clicking on this video in the first place. Again, Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Typically when I stream, I can't stream this upcoming week, but in March, I will see you back here on the channel. And that's all I got for you. Until next time, my name is Berm. See you later.